Hey everyone, Aaron Frace here with Hunt Plans. Today we're going to talk about elevating your hunt cap experience, particularly how well you can sleep. Sleep is the most important part of our hunt because it gives you the energy to be able to hunt hard that next day, hike the mountains, hike the hills, and keep going. One of the ways that we've found to really help us elevate that experience is switching over to a cot system. Uh, cots have been a huge game changer for us. Uh, they help us keep us off the ground, a flatter surface for your back. It's much, much more comfortable. One of the products that we've really come to like is the Helinox Cot One Convertible Cot System. And we'll, we'll talk about that here today. What got us onto these cots initially was last year, we went on a 12 day float hunt in Alaska. Uh, this hunt had us going spot to spot, uh, setting up our TP hot tent on various beaches along the river. Uh, we would set up on rocky beaches, wet beaches, sandy beaches, and this cot system allowed us to keep that mat, that, that inflatable pad off the ground keep our sleeping bag clean, you're not on that rough terrain, and we were able to get a good sleep every night. That We knew that going in, and so we, we spent a bit of time uh, looking into cot systems, and this one is highly, highly recommended. The other side of why I did, I switched over to a cot system is my back has been really starting to hurt, and the quality of sleep has not been great with the inflatable pad systems, and they do have their their place and I still will use them but this allows me to sleep just like I was sleeping at home and I don't have that same that same pain but let's get into the video let's talk about what makes this thing so great what makes this thing maybe not so great and um, can tell you a little bit about the product so you can make the decision for for yourself and what you feel that you're gonna need all right let's dig into some of the specs so the cot comes in two versions. This one is the regular length and there's also a long length. The, uh, really the only difference between the two is how long they are and how heavy they are. Um, the regular one comes in with a weight of four pounds, 13 and a half ounces. And the long one comes in, I think it's 1.3 pounds heavier than this. The setup size for the regular is 73 inches, or I'm sorry, 75 inches by 26 inches wide and six and a half inches off the ground. And the light, the long version is 83 inches long, same width of 26 inches, same height off the ground at six and a half inches. So if you need that extra eight inches of length to go from 75 to 83, and you're willing to carry the extra 1.3 pounds, maybe you need to consider the long one but for me, I'm 5'11", this thing is perfect. I don't need any more than this. Uh, the pack size, uh, I don't know the long one, but for the regular, the pack size is 21 inches long by six and a half by six and a half inches around. And it fits pretty good in pannier packs or in any of your gear bags, maybe not so much in a backpack. Uh, both versions are rated for a capacity of 320 pound body weight. Uh, these things are super bomb proof. I would, I would speculate that they would be able to take more than that, but manufacturer rating is 320 pounds. The frame is a DAC aluminum uh, with shock cord poles, and the fabric is a ripstop recycled uh, nylon, uh, super tough material. The carry case is made of the same material as the um, actual the mattress or the, the uh, fabric of the cot itself. Um, so the whole thing just holds up really well and the, the bag actually is pretty nice and tight it's, It fits all in here nice and nicely and it's not too saggy and it's not too tight The regular cot comes in five different colors a black a brown and three Patterns in more brightly colored uh, fabrics the long version only comes in three different colors I believe the black the brown and I, I can't recall what the third one was they do the cot one um, is considered what they call a convertible cot and it took me a little bit to understand why they said this it sets up one way what does it convert to 
And what they're talking about is there's a couple accessories you can buy for this. One is you can change out the mattress to an inflatable style mattress. I, I wouldn't even consider that. I'll just put an inflatable pad on top. Um, it, it's much cheaper. Um, the other one is they say they sell a extension legs, which instead of being six and a half inches off the ground, brings you to 15 and a half inches off the ground and it adds additional weight. I believe it's an extra hundred dollars for these leg extensions. For me, I'm not going to purchase them. It doesn't make sense. I hunt in a teepee tent or freestanding tents. And sometimes we use the wall tent, but when I put, if I put myself up 15 inches, my head and my feet and the whole cot's going to be pushing into the material of the tent where six and a half inches is kind of that perfect balance. If you were going to take this into a wall tent, uh, the extension legs are probably something you'd want to get. It's a little more comfortable to be sitting more like on a chair. Uh, definitely not needed. Maybe a nice to have in those situations. Um, but for hundred dollars, you might want to consider if you want to spend it or not. So what's inside the bag? Uh, well, you get this, you get this storage bag that comes in, uh, inside here. Um, there's not a lot of pieces to it, which is really nice. Um, you get the fabric, the top fabric, which is the, the ripstop nylon, uh, with the pocket sleeves for the, the two rails on the side. Uh, you get two of the rail poles. Um, everything is with the shock cords, which is handy. Uh, you can, they just snap together and, and you just slide it in. It only takes a couple seconds. And then you get three of these, of these legs. And as you can see, I just put this together incorrectly. Once I seem to do this every single time, um, there is the words this side up on the higher part of the curve on that higher part of the curve is up and your feet are down. So that's what it should look like to be done, to be done properly. Um, it's got a lever arm system to get your tension on your, on your mattress. And this side, it doesn't have that lever arm. So you hook this in first and then you hook this in second and then you lock it down and the clock locks in and keeps that mattress super tight, uh, without any sag and it keeps it comfortable to release it. There's just two little, uh, pinch arms here. You pinch it and you pull it back open to release the tension off of the, off of the mattress. Uh, this is actually one of the frustrations with this caught is this pinch system and lever system when it's really tight and hard to push it, but you can pinch your fingers in there or your skin of your hand. So be careful of that. It's happened to me. And the other part is pinching this to release the tension can be very, very, very difficult. Um, to the point where I get really frustrated, especially if it's cold out, this can be challenging. I'm not sure if they could figure out a better solution, but this is one of the things that I, um, I don't love about this cost system. It's not going to come apart. It's really good. Um, but that's, that's how you do that. So putting this cot together, um, really it's, it's pretty straightforward. Only takes a couple minutes. Uh, you, you put all your poles together. You put your two rail poles together. You put your three leg poles together. You slide your two rail poles into the pocket sleeves on the side of the mattress. And then there's a little pocket end that will go over, locks that pole in, do that on both sides. Then you go put each of your three legs in. You put the main piece, the, the, the static arm in first, and then the lever part on second, lock it down, all three, flip your cot over and you're good to go. So I treat my gear pretty good, but um, inevitably gear is meant, it's gonna get beaten up a little bit and this thing is solid. You could take this thing and jump up and down on it. I don't recommend that, but this thing can take, take some abuse. Uh, previously, I tried the Thermarest ultralight cot system. It's more of a fiberglass arm, lots of little plastic pieces. Um, it's built more for backpacking, but I used it in New Mexico for an Audad hunt a few years ago. Third night in, I just sat up and snapped it. It's, um, it was frustrating. Don't recommend it. So I would recommend taking a little bit uh, more weight and something like this. 
uh, to use. It's a little bit, it's a little bit, not a little bit, it's, it's much better quality than that. It, it's not going to fail any of this thing I would, I would take with me without any worry. This also is more comfortable if you put an air mattress on top. I have slept on it with just the cot, matte fabric, but it's, it's not the most cushiony. It's, it's fairly solid. Um, I would bring an air mattress to lay on top of it. And a little, little hack here, um, get a couple of those uh, cords, get a couple cords, a bungee cord, or just something to go around, or an NRS strap is what I use, and put two of them, one on the top, one on the bottom, and it'll hold that air mattress in place on your cot all night it's not going to slip around on there it's really nice and it only costs a few dollars so this cot is perfectly at home in wall tents teepee tents all those floorless shelters you can just chuck it in there the feet are plastic you can see mine are kind of dirty from being in the gravel uh, if you're going to use it in a freestanding tent i would caution you to be careful maybe lay a uh, tarp of something down inside there so you don't beat up the floor of your freestanding tent uh, but if you're careful that i have used it in them and i wouldn't have any issues just be a little more cautious of how you set up so the price of these the helinox regular version comes in at 349 dollars and 95 cents and the long version comes in at 399 dollars and 95 cents so definitely not the cheapest cot out there. There's, there's more economical ones. I think there's lots of third-party companies trying to mimic the Helinox cot. Um, but these guys have a five-year warranty. They stand behind their product. I have no issues recommending this. I think it's a worthwhile investment, uh, something that's going to last you for a lifetime. I, I, I believe this thing is something that I'm going to use for a long, long time on my, on my hunting trips. So who, who is this thing really built for and who's going to use it? Um, we feel that it's recommended for people doing horseback hunts, llama pack hunts, float hunts, hunting out of your truck, car, anywhere really that you have the ability to carry a little excess weight. For backpacking, I would not be bringing this. I'm still going to carry an inflatable air mattress. Helinox does make a cot light I think that's what it's called, or light cot. They they say it's it's about half the weight or, or less. It's a little smaller. I've not tried that. Might be something to consider in the future. But right now, this the, the cot one convertible is not coming in my pack. It's just too big. Um, for but for any of those other hunts, the llamas, the horses, the, the floats, you're not going to see me out there without this thing. This is coming with me every single time. It's worth it for my back. It's worth it for my sleep. I'm not going to be just sleeping on an air mattress unless I'm on a backpacking trip at this point. We have tried a few other cots in the past. Um, we also have the Alps Mountaineering Ready Light Cot, as well as the Thermarest uh, Ultralight Cot that I referenced earlier. Um, we do want to try the Helinox Cot Light. So if you do want to see us do a review of all three of these, maybe a comparison or a, a side by side, please let us know in the comments below. Uh, we can try to get that together, give you a little bit more comparison on the sizes, the weights, the, the pros and the cons on how they compare to each other. So to we want to thank you for watching this video today, and we hope that this has helped you look at your sleeping system. And if you want to incorporate a cot similar to the cot one convertible by Helinox in your camping gear for your hunts, um, we hope that it's been helpful. So if you've enjoyed the video and the review today, Please don't forget to hit like below, subscribe to our channel, leave us some comments, really help us develop content that works for you to help you spend your resources more wisely in your camping and hunting gear as you go forward in your hunts.